Hey everybody, Drew here from Pelicars. Super excited to bring you guys this beautiful 2007 Toyota Corolla LE. It's the loaded model with only 125,957 miles on it, all the way up from Alexandria, Virginia. So it is extremely clean, especially underneath. The previous owner took extremely good care of it. We're gonna go through the car and I'm gonna show you guys any flaws that wouldn't jump out in photos. So you could either you know buy it online confidently, or of course we'd love to meet you in person um, but this way here there's no surprises when you show up so um, I wouldn't by any means call this a flaw but it's something I'm definitely going to point out to you uh, like any southern car this dark we've had tons of even this very specific blue tons of these cars from you know Virginia Maryland and the paint on them fades pretty severely if you flip through some of the videos on this channel here uh, you could see some of the other almost all our inventory is southern you could see what these look like faded well this one has had its paint redone uh, it's a very common thing in the south and it's you know it's a relatively inexpensive thing compared to like you know having a classic car restored where they take everything apart to paint it so there's some imperfections and I want to point those out 99.9% um, .9 of the public would never notice this but if you get really close to the paint on the hood you can see some um, you know just some imperfections from how they prepared it to be painted um, again very very hard to tell but like right there um, you could see like a little bit, I'm way zoomed in here, you could see um, like a little bit of sanding marks underneath the paint. Because of its, you know, because of how well it was taken care of and because of that, there's not really many imperfections to speak of. Um, you could see along just some imperfection in that repaint. You see my boots there, just how shiny it is. Um, but you could see some imperfections along the, um, you know, along the door edge there. Um, but you know, no dents, scratches, anything like that. The only thing that's really noticeable, or at least it was to me, was there was an original logo, um, you know, from the Toyota dealership where it was sold new and there's some imperfection in the paint around that. Pardon my, uh, yeah, there you go. So some imperfection in the paint around that. So that's just where we happen to put our logo. So, you know, uh, absolutely phenomenal condition though for a car this age. Um, you know, it's it's almost shoot. It's almost 18 years old or it actually may already be uh, Manufactured 11 to 2006 so getting close uh, Underneath as promised is extremely clean with only a very little bit of surface rust and surface rust by definition is Meaning we could go under there with a Brillo pad and get it off It's not like pitted and flaky and you know falling apart like a Rochester car. I'm sure you saw in the photos, but the um you know, like the frame, you know, still has paint on it. Uh, the brake lines and all that, just absolutely perfect. The exhaust, literally like a new car under there. Or, now well, that's perhaps be, <laughs> being a bit enthusiastic, like maybe a two or three year old Rochester car um, at worst. It's got new tires on it. Um, these are Goodyear, very good tire, Goodyear Reliant. Um, you know, all the treads there, new tires. And I'll show you guys under the hood and in the trunk. It did come with a set of really nice uh, winter floor mats or all season floor mats, I should say, is where it came from. There's hardly a winter. Um, engine is super clean. All the fluids are correct and up to date. You'll see there, I'm not sure if you could see the, the plastic, uh, the specific plastic turns like yellow with age, but if you could see on the bottom, it looks like a reddish pink. That's a sign that this car had, you know, the proper fluids put in it as this era Toyota has, um, you know, pink coolant. Underneath the engine, or what you can see of it, is super clean, no evidence of any leaks or anything like that. Just an absolutely wonderful car. Uh, again, in the trunk, which is super clean, uh, is a nice set of floor mats. But, you know, nice clean cargo area, good indication the person cared about their car quite a bit. Um, inside, the seats are absolutely perfect. Floor only has a very little bit of minor staining to it. Uh, back seat looks like it was never even used. Back carpet looks the same way. Headliner, other than a little bit of discoloration in the back here, which you can kind of see, um, which, let me see here, I'm gonna get you guys a better shot. You can see like a little bit of discoloration, very, very minor. 
Uh, but no stains, you know, no cigarette smoke, no food, nothing like that. Uh, passenger side looks unused as well. So does the seat. So these Corollas of this era, um, there was quite a bit of spread in the packages. Um, they came with... I believe, feel free to reach out in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they all had power steering and power brakes. Um, in fact, I would, you know, I'd bet the farm on that. Um, but they did not all have anti-lock brakes. They didn't all have, um, you know, power, power locks. They didn't all have power mirrors. They weren't all automatic. They didn't all have air conditioning. They didn't all have cruise control. Uh, this one has all of that, of course, as I just gestured to it, uh, as I was explaining just want to make sure before i say that this car does in fact have anti-lock brakes if you look at that gizmo there it's a silver gizmo with a bunch of what looks like wires coming out of it but those are brake lines that is the anti-lock brake module right there that's the brake booster it wouldn't have that gizmo right behind the radiator cap right there it wouldn't have that if it didn't have any lock brakes nor would it have all those perfectly shiny brand new looking brake lines it's another thing too that rots out really bad on Rochester cars and costs a lot of money to fix. Um, these Corollas are absurdly reliable cars, but not if they rust away. So um, it has, again, 125,957 miles on it. Um, as you see here, no warning lights except my seatbelt, which I'm gonna put on for you guys. It has ice cold air conditioning, hot heat. It's Rochester and it's May, so I was able to test them both in the same day. Um, again, power windows, power locks, all that jazz. Uh, it has both um, both main keys, one key fob, and the valet key. Another indication, um, you know, I like to look at cars and let them tell their own story. So somebody loved it enough to have it painted when it faded, to put Goodyear tires on it instead of super cheap ones. Its oil change sticker, which I scraped off, was about halfway through. It was due at like 127 and upper change. So it's a little bit more than halfway through its oil change. It came with a, you know, a quarter tank of gas. Whoever had this car had their ducks in a row and took really good care of it. Uh, up to and including saving even the original um, Toyota, that you could bring this little gizmo to a Toyota dealership and get a key cut. Just a wonderful car. It drives as good as it looks. I wanna take you guys up to highway speed. Um, which, uh, you know, it's not going to win any races, but it's a pretty zippy thing. It's got a four-speed automatic transmission that is bulletproof. Toyota's made it for like 30-something years, um, and it's geared such that it takes off just fine. One of the things I love, um, and this, by the way, if you've been entertained by this and you don't plan to buy the car, you're just entertained, we'd love a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel, because I do try to review the cars a little bit too, and every time we have one of these Corollas, um, you know, I'm just so impressed with how smooth they are, how comfortable the seats are for what is essentially an economy car. Much, much more enjoyable to drive than the newer stuff. So we're going 65, hands off the wheel, uh, coming to a curve here. Drives perfectly straight, gonna jab the brakes. No shakes, no shimmies. Um, I would be probably fired as an Uber driver or a taxi driver for that maneuver, but it's good to show you guys no shakes, no shimmies, no drama at speed. Absolutely perfect car. And again, um, just everything about this Corolla is quite a bit nicer than what you could have expected from an economy car back then and definitely nicer than now. No, it doesn't have all the gadgets and the screens and everything, but it's just so smooth and comfortable. It has the, you know, the fuzzy seats that grip your body. Um, just an, a really, really pleasant car and combine that with bulletproof reliability and it, I mean, it's in my top three used cars, you know, personally, which is probably why we have a lot of them at the dealership. But, um, anyways, I'm Drew. If you want to buy this car, you can do so through the website, www.pellacars.com or just call me again. I'm Drew 585-771-0111. You could buy it online or you can schedule your uh, in-person test drive. Again, we'd love to meet you. Uh, no, no pressure to buy it online. No pressure at all. We're a pressure free. Uh, pressure free business you check out our reviews and see that for yourself um, but uh, you know we can sell it to you online and have it delivered if you'd like but again we would love to meet you in person 585-771-0111 and if this video was helpful again in any other way entertaining or helping with car shopping uh, please let us know in the comments give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks guys take care bye